Last question, how do you add timestamps and chapters to YouTube videos? So I did an episode um, a few weeks back now. It was actually a three-part series uh, breaking down a guide that YouTube put together about how to optimize podcasting on YouTube. Uh, go check out those episodes if you haven't. But there was a section um, where I talked about uh, timestamps or as as YouTube calls them, chapters. And I guess I didn't break it down in, simply enough as far as how to add timestamps. So I had a couple of people asking questions. So if you've ever been watching a video and you look at the little playhead at the bottom of the video, there's some dash line and, the, and you see dash lines. Those are the different chapters. And basically it's just a way for people, if you go to watch um, a video and you want to kind of skip through to a certain part of the video that talks about a certain subject, chapters allow you the ability to easily do that. You can just click right where you want to go and then boom, you're on that, that part of the video. So it's, it's handy, but it's also, uh, you know, I think YouTube looks at it favorably. I think it also gives it, it, it would have to give a little bit of search engine juice because you're putting extra keywords in your description, things like that. So timestamps uh, come in quite handy and YouTube themselves recommends them. But how do you add them to a video? It's super simple. All you have to do is um, type them into your video description. The one thing you have to remember to do, however, is you have to start at zero. So what you would do is go into your video description, type zero, zero, colon, zero, zero, type in show intro or whatever subject happens to be the first of your show. And then you hit enter on the next line, find the timestamp of when the next subject begins. Let's say it's two minutes, 11 seconds. You would then type zero, two, colon, one, one, and then give that a short description. Enter. Do continue until you get to the last one, whatever it might be, and that's it. But the only way to activate it to start working is if you start at zero. Also, I believe you have to have, it was either two or three timestamps minimum for it to work, and each of them has to be at least 10 seconds in length. If uh, any of that is wrong, I'll put a little clarification right here, but I believe those are the requirements in order for timestamps to work. But it's very simple. Just Find where the different topics are within your videos, type them in the description, and then they will show up automatically in your video uh, when it is published.